and thanks for clicking through to the all new skid test. Now I've been working with profiling and developing sales teams for over 25 years now uh, and I finally think I've got to a proper profiling test that will really allow you to understand your sales team. Now, I'm sure you already know that there are four key phases to a customer interaction. Um, there's the sales phase, there's the commitment phase, there's what I call the incentive or the discount phase, uh, and then ultimately at the end, I guess most salespeople end up in what we could call a dismissive phase. So, I've designed this test so that you can look at your individual salespeople and also then put it together for your sales team to have a look at where your sales team fits in terms of how they behave when they're interacting with customers. And it's important to know, and let me tell you why. In the first phase, which is the sales phase, then that's where the salespeople are doing all the things that we would want them to do. Uh, they're talking to customers, they're listening to customers, uh, they're setting the agenda, they're explaining part exchange, they tell them they're going on a test drive, and they're asking them key questions like, um, did you buy your previous car new or used? What was it that attracted you to that car? What do you like about it? If anything, what would you wish to improve? Is there anything on your current car um, that you'd like to improve on your new car? Is there anything in the new car that you would like that isn't on your current car? How will you be funding the car? Will that be from your own bank? Would you like to borrow money from our bank? Or will you be risking your own capital? Those kind of questions all go on through the sales phase. What we'd like to see then after we've done the sales phase is for our sales teams or our sales people to move into the commitment phase. Now this is where we're going to be asking the customer for their business. We're going to be going through the figures, we're going to be recapping on everything that we've agreed and asking the customer if they're in a position to make the decision. Of course, in the real world, we all know that we're going to have to have some give and take. There's going to be some negotiation. And that's probably what happens in the incentive or the discount phase. And that's where really the customer begins to take control and the customer begins to ask for over allowance on their used car, discount, maybe a free warranty, maybe a paint protection free accessories, all that kind of stuff that salespeople tend to pile into the deal to get the customer to say yes. And then finally, if, if that doesn't work, then that's where the sales teams tend to start to lose interest and the customer is then moved into what, what I term as the dismissive box. Now there's some pros and cons to being in each of these phases and it's important for you to know where your sales team is and how your salespeople behave when they're interacting with customers. Because in the sales phase, if we spend too long in the sales phase and we don't ask for commitment early enough, what happens is we talk our way through the other end of the sale and we end up overselling. You now the customer's ready to make the decision or is ready to ask for something that will make them decide and what happens is we keep talking and we talk our way right through the other end of the sale until the customer gets bored and says, I'll go away and think about it. Now, in the commitment stage, if we get to the commitment phase too early, then there's a good chance we're going to lose the interest of our customer because they're going to think that we're only interested in ourselves and we're not listening to them. If we get to the commitment phase too late, then maybe we've sold our way out the other end. So the timing of when we move from one phase to the other is crucial. The same with the incentive or the discount phase. If we go in too early with our incentives and our discount, then we start to lose the trust of our customer and customers will start to think that there's more in this, there's more in this, there's more in this and they'll get to a stage where they'll say, I'll go away and think about it because they're not absolutely convinced they've got your best deal because we've offered too much too soon. Similarly, if we offer too little too late, then again, we may have already lost our customer. And of course, then the dismissive box we don't really want to get into the dismissive box at all if we can help it, but certainly that should be well down the line rather than up front. There are salespeople that go straight into the commitment phase and then into the dismissive. I'm sure you've witnessed some salespeople who will approach a customer and say, are you thinking of buying today or are you just looking? If the customer says they're just looking, then they go straight into dismissive and they don't give them any kind of service or any kind of process in place at all.
if they say they're thinking of buying then they'll be straight in when were you thinking of buying how much were you thinking of spending and they're going into the commitment phase too early which pushes the customer back now some people when they meet customers they lack confidence completely and go straight into the incentive or discount phase and start talking about discounts or start talking about exceptional used car values in the opinion that they're trying to hook the customer but actually all they're doing is losing the confidence of the customer so this skid test is designed so that you can very quickly very simply identify how your salespeople behave what does your sales team look like when it's interacting with customers and you can see how long each of your salespeople spend in each of those phases where they start where they move to next do they start in the sales phase and then move into incentives and then go to commitment and then into dismissive do they start in sales and then go for commitment uh, do they start with incentives and then try and get commitment and forget the sales phase altogether so that you can actually look at what support and coaching your team need you can look at what training you can provide for your salespeople you can get a really good 3D picture of how your sales team performs and it only takes minutes okay so here's what you need to do to get your exclusive free skid test fill out your name and email and I'll send you everything you need straight to your inbox in the next few seconds and I look forward to seeing you on the other side in part two of the video